crazy. I'm sitting precariously on this seat, which is uh, not actually screwed in properly. I'm trying to work out where the best place for a footrest is. I mean, I'm only uh, five, eight and a half. I've got very short legs. But uh, the original thing that people used to get on was this box down here. Um, I could revamp this box and have it. But uh, even for me, it's not a not a brilliant position for my legs. You know, my, my legs, I'm sort of like coming off the seat sort of thing. So I want to be up here about another three inches higher, I would have thought. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do here. But one of the things that I have come up with is I've got this uh, little tread here to go on the wall. Um, the original um, colour and everything is like in the picture I'm just showing you now. Um, I've given it a dye and a stain and a varnish so that it brings it up to the rest of the wood that I'm doing. Um, it just happens to be grey as well which is good. So what I'm thinking of doing is placing that up there like so about three inches higher than that box and as you can see the thing folds so it'll fold up out of the way on the wall now the only thing with this you do have to put weight on it obviously to get onto the tra to the seat because it is um it's quite a high seat on this boat um it has to be because of where the where the helm and the screen is um, <coughs> which is why they had a large box, sorry. They had three of these boxes. One was situated here like this, and then there was one either side of the boat, um, used for getting in and out of the boat. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna put uh, like a caravan step to get in and out of the boat, which is a lot smaller, and you can move it around. It's not so obtrusive in the way. Um, but I may well, go back to putting the box back there. I can restore this box. The lid would need to be changed, the rubber. But uh, the rest of it will all clean up and sand and uh, stain and everything again, so it'd be the same as this. So you could in fact have both. You have this up on here, which folds up out the way. For the taller people, they could put their feet on there and for the shorter people, up on there. I personally would like this. Um, if I don't have the box then they would have to put their foot onto this and then get up onto the seat. Um, as I say for a short person it's uh, not brilliant. This is a lot a lot safer but um, I don't see why we can't have a look at both. Because this is uh, a standalone thing as you can see it just moves about. Um, whereas this will be fixed. So what I think I'll do is I'll work out the exact fixing position, which I believe is three inches above here. That's for me, obviously. Um, so we're talking up here like that. And then what else I'll do for that, because obviously now we've got vinyl on, on this wall. I've cut a piece of Perspex and I'll put that behind there so that when it's up on the wall and your toes are going against the wall they're not scrubbing onto the vinyl. This is uh, covered at the moment so it's clear perspex so you will just see vinyl up on the back. So that'll sit there up on the wall and then I'll play about with this box and then uh, We'll see what that looks like in the end. And what I'll probably do is I'll have a look at the floor. Obviously, that's the rubber that we got down on the floor. So I'll probably do the same thing up on top of this. Probably be uh, quite a good idea, to be honest with you. I'll show you what it's like to get up onto this seat while we're here. So if, if you had the original box there, bear in mind your steering wheel would be here. It would be this sort of thing. Like that, see how my, I haven't done if you can see, you should be able to see where my, my feet are. 
it's only my toes that are resting properly on the, on the platform. If I do that, then I'm falling forwards. Um, with that stand being up there, it will be a case of putting your foot up onto the stand and then up onto the seat. Right, well that wasn't too easy. The Allen key was half a mil off size. Right, I'm gonna put some washers and nuts on the back of it. And what I might do later on is put some strengthening rods on the back as well. Just so that you haven't just got nuts and uh, washers out on the back taking all the weight, which wouldn't be a good idea. So that's, that's what we've got again. So you've got your stand there. As I say, I may put a box underneath that. The original box tidied up with a new lid on it. Um, it looks better like this because it's clearer, but with the box, it does make it easier to get up on such a high seat lightly. And uh, it's all got to come to bits to be uh, revamped but uh, once it's in place then I'll test this out properly for actually standing on and getting up um, as I said before I've got short legs um, but I should probably be able to manage it with a little spring but the box being there will make it a lot easier probably a lot safer to be honest with you so yeah I'm happy with the way that looks Okay, so that's with the footrest in place. So the action of being without the box, standing up onto there, getting up onto the seat. The seat's still a bit unsecure and the floor's uneven because I've got that board on the floor at the moment, so it will be in a different position. But the principle's just the same. So it's a case of up onto here and up on there like that. And that's a good Yeah, I'm happy with that. Hope you like that. We'll go on to something else now.